Welcome back everybody to the All Laughter Chronicles here on No Nintendo Allowed, continuing with my playthrough Metal Slug first mission for the Neo Geo Pockets. Mission 3, Battle in the City. Okay. Oh shit. I guess I gotta get behind this guy, you can use the knife against them very quickly. Okay. So now enter the buildings, even. So yeah, there is a lot of exploration elements in here, apparently. For those who don't know, there's also a sequel to this game called Second Mission. Um, Metal Slug Second Mission also that came out in the, on the Neo Geo Pockets. I think that one never played before. Okay, what's the point of entering these areas? Maybe that was like an optional entrance. But yeah, fr from this level you can actually start telling that... This game is not going to be exactly the same as Metal S the, the Roller Metal Slugs. Which is a good thing, because it gives you a variety of locations that you probably never explored before. Okay, what item you're gonna give me? Probably nothing. Got shot in the face. There are more doors to get in, but I don't know how to go over there. Okay, now I know. I need food, like, badly. Okay, I got all of my health back somehow. And I just threw the mines before entering here. Okay, that's even more food. Alright, let me just get the cactus for the cycle points. I'm gonna leave the health there just in case. Yeah. This is exactly why. See what I mean? Yeah, now I have to deal with these enemies again though. Shoot them from a distance. I guess that's the best way to manage. Okay. Again, I'm entering all of these buildings. I don't know what each of them, uh, you know, are gonna give me. But it's gonna be a waste of time. Okay, I rescued the guy. I'm not gonna be able to get those bombs. Let's get out of here. All right, this emulator is kind of slowing down a little bit. I'm using RetroArch, by the way. Because I try, I try to write regular uh, Neo Geo Pocket emulators and they run super slow on my end. Wait, do I have to kill the helicopter before being able to proceed or... Is this a dead end no matter what? Wait, didn't I kill this guy? Okay, now I can continue to any side. Okay, that was weird. So basically some of these rooms are completely optional. Give me that shit. Almost full health. Yeah, this is becoming a little bit more of a maze. Which I don't like, because, you know, I'm not a big fan of maces. Oh shit. Careful with the spikes. And I'm trapped. Yeah, all enemies respawn. Not even surprised. Teddy bear. Sure, why not. At least I'm rescuing these guys. Makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Okay, that was dumb. I'm rescuing this guy first. Please give me food. Shotgun. Right, the shotgun is devastating, as you can tell. Oh my god, one single shot from the tank was enough. There we go. You know, let's continue on. Let, let's ignore the doors for the time being. 
Oh no, I didn't want to change the rocket launcher. Seriously, just ignore these guys and, and shoot the ones that are necessary. Like that one, for example. Alright, made it to the boss. Yeah, essentially entering these doors is completely optional. It's just basically for you to rescue some of these hippies and get some health out of them or other items like weapons and things that give you points, essentially. Oops, I'm one shit away from dying. And as you can see, also, the bosses are completely different from... the original Metal Slug games. Again, I don't know exactly which one this one is based on. I would say that this is based on the first one. Well, it came out actually 99. In 99, yeah, it was based on, on probably Metal Slug 1 and Metal Slug 2 and X. Alright, this, these explosions are kind of big. It's hard to tell. Okay, what's with the controls now? Now the controls are getting kind of crazy. Like, unresponsive when I turn around. Like this, uh, like, slippery floor effect. Mm. Me there, they can also get me. Alright, yeah, he's getting closer and closer, obviously. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have entered the boss without health, or with so little health. So, wait, if you die, and continue, where do you start from? Okay, you can actually earn continues. Okay, from the boss, not bad, not bad, okay. You can earn continues by apparently collecting those coins, I actually suspected that those were actually necessary. I guess I'm doing much better now. And now it feels like it's not getting so much closer to me. Wow, that was a complete joke of a battle. Okay, sometimes if necessary, I guess it would be a good idea to take a death. Especially in boss battles like this. Because apparently I will be able to continue earning... Um, Twice, or lives, or continues, whatever you want to call them. With full health, and apparently with extra weapons. Mission 5, Pursuit of the Transport Train. So yeah, now we got a train level just like in Metal Slug 2 and... Oh shit. Did I press the wrong button? Okay. Okay, electricity is bad. Don't touch it. I guess I can jump. There we go. Interesting mechanic. Dude, I love this game. I love the variety of uh, gameplay modes that this game offers. Including, like, little mazes or whatever. That wasn't really a maze. But yeah, I, lo I love it. Now you gotta keep pressing the button A to move this cart jump over the electricity what happened to the music I'm getting the health obviously yeah, sometimes I'm not gonna be able to tie my my shit properly all right made it is that a level yeah okay I knew it sometimes I will be dealing with super short levels I insist so we are like a third of the game through kind of all right, let's start mission six, <gasps> penetration of the front base. All right, let's see how much of this level you can play before time's up. All right, now we have conveyor belts. Dude, I'm loving this game. Probably it's gonna become brutally difficult. I wouldn't be surprised. Is that a bomb dispenser? I guess it is. Again, killing this guy is completely optional. Dude, I, I shouldn't waste my time. All 
Alright, there you go. So yeah, these doors are essentially for you to rescue these hippies and get items out of them. Which I guess is a good thing. So, okay, I've noticed something. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but I don't think it's the case. Uh, I believe that by increasing my ranks also increases my health capacity. It feels like my health bar is actually longer than before. Now that I've been um, ranking up, essentially. If that's the case, that's awesome. Well, I guess fish will give me the points. Oh shit, careful with that. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.